as she has returned to her old form after missing most of the summer. She's had back-to-back -back wins. A winner of nearly a million last year. She's two for four this season. Looking real good, getting set for the Breeders' Crown. So Treacherous Dragon and Nikki Hill, number six and seven in this fifth qualifier. It's a field of five as the starting gate comes to the top of the stretch. Gate picking up speed for qualifier number five. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and some early speed shown from Lacklon on the beach towards the inside while looking to his right to see where Treacherous Dragon and Nikki Hill are going to slot. So everybody's going to figure this out here in the opening eighth, while meanwhile watching from fourth is Mystifying, and then Cote d'Azur is in fifth. So Nikki Hill is pushing on towards the lead. Just to her inside is Treacherous Dragon. Lachlan on the beach will watch them from in third. Mystifying is fourth, and the early trailer Cote d'Azur. So Nikki Hill is going to cross over and clear just as they hit the opening quarter in 29 and 3. So they move into the back stretch as this field of five, and it is Nikki Hill on the front, the daughter of Always Be Mickey. She is leading it by a length and a half from Treacherous Dragon there in second. Lachlan on the beach is two lengths back in third. Fourth is Mystifying, and fifth is Cote d'Azur. That's how they're lined up. There'll be no change in order here in the second quarter. Coming towards the half, off stride in third went Lachlan on the beach. Wa got that one to the outside immediately. The half was hit in 58-1. and one. Heading into the final bend now, the leader remains Nikki Hill. Treacherous Dragon will just continue to follow. Four lengths then back to Mystifying, who inherited third. Then it's Cote d'Azur in fourth, and Lachlan on the beach after that break is the trailer. So it's Nikki Hill kicking it up into full gear now. Treacherous Dragon just a little over a length and a half behind her. These two, one, two as they come to three quarters. Going a strong third quarter here because they're past that station in 125 and two. So they went 27 and one in the third split. Off the turn and into the stretch. It is Nikki Hill, Treacherous Dragon behind her. Then back to Mystifying, Cote d'Azur and Lachlan on the beach is last. Final eighth of the mile, Nikki Hill, Treacherous Dragon will try to push here. She's trying to get to the wheel. Nikki Hill and Treacherous Dragon. These two are going to be side by side as they come down to the wire. Treacherous Dragon on the outside trying to reach up and Treacherous Dragon will get it. Treacherous Dragon, Nikki Hill finishes second, then back to Mystifying third. Fourth was Cote d'Azur, Lachlan on the beach was fifth. One fifty-two and one for Treacherous Dragon.